G'day guys, welcome back to Valheim. Hope you guys are doing well. We're just here in front of the windmill, which is operating really, really well. And our refinery. Just doing a few bits and pieces, but in the previous episode, we did get very, very close to building or completing the build on the roof on the other side. We are oh so close. <laughs> and uh, it was a little bit frustrating actually that we couldn't complete it. Uh, but unfortunately, we have run out of materials, Grouston specifically. So we're going to have to go out and gather up some more. Uh, I'm hoping we'll be able to do that relatively easily uh, if we go out to, you know, some of the spawn points that we've got out there, such as uh, maybe even the, the fader spawn point, for instance. So that's the plan. Um, we do have a few things on us, though, so uh, let's just tidy things up a little bit and then obviously we're going to have a meal and uh, we'll we'll make our way it is a, a bit of a a waste though this uh, omelet we've got 11 minutes worth so perhaps maybe there's some stuff that we can still do uh, while we wait let's just throw a few things in here I've got a lot of core wood which I think I will be using a bit more core wood at some point to decorate the space. Oh, okay. Yep, this this is still a problem. <laughs> I completely forgot about fixing all of that. Uh, I might need to fetch my wood again to do that, though. So let's just maybe do that. Um, and that should be a decent use of our time while we wait. So... Yeah, there's a bit of grass in here, but that's definitely not going to be enough for what we need to to do. So we'll definitely fetch some more. Um, yeah, fetching Grouston out in the Ashlands shouldn't be difficult. The problem is attracting various enemies to your position while you're doing so. All right. Um, and I won't bother moving the bed because we'll likely have to move all of that anyway. Once the, the build is done. Um, let's stash... Oh my god. <laughs> I've got Grouston in here, guys. What are we, what are we talking about? Alright, alright, well, you know, we can probably still hang around here in that case and, uh, just continue building. Uh, I do want to just get rid of my flour and barley though, so let me just do that very quickly and then instead of having a big meal, I suppose we could just at least have a snack. Sorry. That's supposed to go in there, not the other way around. Snacks. Uh, I'm running out of stuff, to be honest. So let's also just cook a few things. And I think we can go... I was going to say we can go with omelets, but... We're looking a little low on the omelet front. Um, I might bake some bread. I know that... We want to be using a lot of the flour for making pies and stuff, but it shouldn't really be too much of an issue to make more flour. So, you know, I'm okay making some bread. Uh, we should be able to also do some sausages. Yeah, entrails don't really have a lot. Um, and even like things like lox meat, we don't have much either. So I might need to try and fetch some of that stuff at some point.
chook meat. Probably do need to get me some chicken meat. And more eggs. Let's just check on the chooks. Uh, yeah, they're not really eating anything. So let me feed them. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some of these. I should enjoy that, hopefully. Grab all of that. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that we don't have to worry about, you know, fetching any more of the Rouston, to be honest, because that could potentially be a bit of a pain. Yeah, we do have a few bits and pieces there lying around. Should be getting quite a few eggs, hopefully. Alright, anything else I want to start thinking about making? Um... You know, I would really like to get more Lox Pies to be honest. Um, so maybe going out and fighting a bunch of locks. Uh, Yotan Puffs, probably a good idea to stock up on that. And we are actually a little bit low on onions as well if you think about it. So maybe it's not such a bad idea to make our way back out to the Mistlands at this point. I know I'm saying that we're getting very, very close to finishing the build, or the, the roof at the very least, but we got to do a few things. Um, can I not repair all the weapons and stuff unless I have like a better Black Forge? I guess... That would be the case. So I might need to put the Black Forge back in its place. Um, yeah, I haven't eaten actually, so I have to be a little bit careful. It's not challenge anything if something does happen. I think we can go one more layer. It's a little difficult to judge. Because uh, a lot of these 
uh, what do you call these? The mage caps. They do look quite large. And it looks like you may be encroaching. But uh, I think there's still a little bit of space there, right? Anyway, hopefully that all sort of grows well. We do have a bit more to work with now. So throw that in and... Oh, actually we do have quite a bit more. <laughs> I thought we only got a few for some reason. Anyway, uh, so that's a good surprise. Time for bed, and maybe time for a snack as well, so let's just quickly do that. And, yeah, I probably won't spend on anything else. I could go out and maybe just check on the eggs, but I'll do that a little bit later. Yeah, but I don't think our, um, our Grouston is going to last for very long. So we've only got, like, about a stack and a half on us, and then there's another stack and a half in the chest. So once we run out, yeah, we're going to be forced to pretty much go out to the Ashlands. Okay, so where did we leave off? I think the next thing that we sort of need to do is uh, we sort of need to get some of these metal or wood iron um, frameworks in place, right? So I do need to perhaps fetch a little bit more iron. So we'll do that. What's going on on that side? Eh. Yeah, okay. Does look slightly different, doesn't it? Uh, the position of this pillar here is different from where I've, uh, I've done this pillar. Does that matter? I suppose it might not. But I sort of want the, the framework to sort of match. So let me just do a bit of a count here. So we've got one, two... Three, four, five, six. So it's right under the sixth one from the outer walls. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, not exactly the same, is it? Uh. Yeah, let's take some of that back down. And then we'll redo that. So it's about five blocks, I think. So one, two, three, four, five. Hang on. That feels like it's in the same position, unless I miscounted. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Hmm. One, two, three. Oh, sorry, this is four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So, one, two, three. 
for... Yeah, that's, so that's slightly different than what we had before. So... Going out that way, and let me fetch some more iron. Which... Yeah, we don't have in here. I assume if you did, like, flame metal, um, like, pillars, that that would also provide the same kind of strength as using... iron. I just don't like the, the look of it. It's just a little too shiny for, for my liking. And there's not really a lot of uh, different options for those types of pillars, though. Okay. Probably gonna need some stone for all of this as well. We'll come back to that. And yeah, I just want to double check on what we decided to do here. So it's every two sections. There. Okay, let me gather up all of that wood, because if we have enough wood for the kiln, I think we'll throw a big batch to try and get some coal. Okay, and that should make way for more iron here. And this iron hopefully we'll be able to use to prop up the wall a little bit more. Let's gather all of that. Uh, did we do anything fancy on this side? I don't think we did. So yeah, that is looking good. Now, presumably, we should be able to complete the roof. This is a bit of a struggle every time. I might go out the uh, the other way. Let's see, if we can reach things from here.
All right, things are really coming along. And I am liking what I'm seeing here. So just needing to see if I can get this center section completed. I think I'm going to do the same thing as what we did last time. We'll just use a couple of these pieces just to keep us from falling down. looks fine. Let's just remove a few of these pieces here. And I sort of need to gather up some stone because I need to complete the chimney as well before I do the the last piece of Grouston, so I think I might have a bit of stone right here. There goes the hammer. Just do a quick repair. Okay, now that we've put uh, that stone wall in, we should be able to get this piece in before we complete the entire chimney. Hopefully we can get it in. It's a bit difficult. There we go. Perfect. Right, now... add all of these. Now, I won't remove any of these wooden pieces just yet because uh, we could end up doing something with uh, the sides to cover up the iron, uh, wood iron poles. Quick pivot here. We'll see if we can grab those eggs and feed these guys. Plenty of eggs now. Right. Um, and yeah, they should continue eating a little bit more. But we have sort of run out of onion seeds. Alright. Finally, the roof is complete. 
<laughs> that took a while. Um, but I think what I'll do next is I'll, um, I'll try and sort of match what we've got going um, on the right side here. And just make sure that all of the, um, the stone pieces are in. Um, okay, yeah, we still have the problem with the center section, not really um, taking any more stone. I'm thinking perhaps maybe once we sort of bring some more of the stone up, uh, maybe we can then sort of put more in that section once the um, the build is a little bit more secure and strengthened. Um, yeah, let's get more flooring in. I wonder if there's a way we can sort of design this so that the floor doesn't have any of the iron wood sticking out of it. I'm just curious to see what we did on this side. Yeah, that's also a problem. So, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out a way to sort of prop up the the floors a little bit more at some point. Not right away. So probably not really gonna do too much work on the attic. Um, I might need to maybe move the way or the entrance to the attic, a temporary entrance to the attic that is, just to make it a little bit easier on us. remove some of those completely and replace it with the two by ones. Ah, uh, you know what? I've been ignoring the Askvin, haven't I? Damn it. It's always a problem. Yeah, we'll try and go out and see the Askvin. Check on his progress. Uh, but I can already tell that we're going to need so much more stone, so we're going to have to go out to the plains. That'll be our cue to also um, try and farm for lox meat. I suppose it's not exactly farming, hunting, I suppose, for lox meat. I assume that's going to hold. Maybe I can do even like one more. Yeah, that's good. And then perhaps that 
might enable us to get the center resolved. Yep. Okay, looking good. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, maybe not quite. Although, when we extend the uh, wood iron, I think we should be able to strengthen the center section. Um, though, if things start crumbling, maybe it might not be such a bad idea to have some kind of a, a wood uh, sort of design in the center. That can be like a an aesthetic thing that differentiates that front facade versus the the one that we've already got going for the hall. Um, it is getting late. I do want to just maybe put some work in on smelting. So we are definitely going to need that iron anyway. And yeah, we've got extra coal in here. But what I want to do is throw in another 20 or so. Of the scraps. Great. Time for bed. I mean, judging by all of the sounds, I'm thinking we probably already have all of the iron. So, might not be a, a bad idea to do another batch. Uh, I guess I can't really because I don't really have the coal. So, gathering up some wood is also perhaps on the agenda. Let's do the stone first, though. Um, and... As much as I would like to not continuously eat so much all the time, I think we are going to have to eat some foods that are going to keep us going for a little bit, just to keep us alive out there. Have a roast chook, I think that's a good idea. And uh, yeah, if we do get into a fight, we'll have enough HP to hopefully survive. So, back to the Trader 2 portal. Yeah, so the question is, how much should we mine? Um, I suppose at least one batch we should try and get. It being a rainy day doesn't help, does it? <laughs> uh.
Yeah, I don't know if we'll actually see much more stone here. So, we may as well get started on this big rock over here. I assume there's nothing left here. Yeah, I was going to perhaps maybe try and do the whole explode method, but I think this is just getting a little bit too close to uh, the end of the world. So... The end of, or the bottom of the world. So I won't even bother. Um, and I'll just do it normally. Still quite certain that you'll probably find a big chunk of this rock underneath the soil though, so we will dig around a little bit. be a better idea to start from the top. And I think I see, yeah, I see a couple of locks just over here. Actually, they haven't noticed me just yet. Might not be a bad idea to see if we can do some critical damage. Right. Yeah, we do need some of the cloud berries as well to make Locke's pies, so just gonna gather up a few at the very least. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, this sword definitely has very wide reach. I didn't think it would reach that far, actually. Um, just don't want to miss any of the lox meat, but... Getting there. Uh, I might 
just place down some piles over here as well. So we can just continue for a little bit. Just want to throw these that way, get them out of the way. Scare the crap out of me. Right. There we go. Bit of extra tar. I wonder where that blob came from. Uh, I guess there is a tar pit just over there. But I feel like he aggroed pretty far. There we go. Not bad. I think we're going to want to start digging a hole around this area because um, when I come back I might be a little confused if I got rid of the entire top part of the, the rock and didn't start digging a hole. Might be a little bit confusing to find where we were working on last. Unfortunately, I haven't really seen any of those, like, really, really big, like, monolithic stones. Because those are really good sources of stone as well, right? Ideally, I would have liked to mine from there. Yeah, I think we're maxed now. Let's go home. Now, do we also address the iron problem at this point? And by iron problem, I mean more specifically the wood that we need for, um, for smelting. These necks, uh, I feel like I've seen multiple instances of the necks not actually dropping any of their tails. I don't know what the deal is with that. Random fish, sure. Take it. I 
do have stacks of fish. I haven't really been using the fish meat at all. Maybe I should be making like, I don't know, fish wraps or something. Just as a, again, another snack option. Anyway, um, let's just fetch the other piles of stone. Okay, um, I might start using some of the stone right away, actually. I'm, um, I'm not really keen on doing any of the logging just yet. So let's continue. Just sort of need to work our way from the inside here. even correct I feel like I feel like it's not quite right and yeah even that that doesn't look right I don't think that's right Hang on. How can I get it in properly? Something like that, maybe. Looks good. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's probably poking out, but um, yeah, you get the gist. I think we're almost there. Uh, with the front facade, at least to cover the, the space. Probably need to work on making it actually look nice.
but that can definitely come later. Um, yeah, this corner looks a little bit off. What's going on there? Nothing. That's what's going on. Another quick inspection from the outside. I think we've got it down right, hopefully. Oh god. Trying to reach that loose stone up there. Okay, not bad. Um, let's have a sleep. Uh, and from here, uh, we could either start working on the front facade completely, or we could um, just, you know, block out the the back wall. I think that's probably a better idea. Just to enclose the space first and then we think about the decorations later. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, getting things in the just the right position after you know building all of the supporting beams and stuff can be a little tricky now. right
maybe I'll um, do myself a ladder over here so we can climb out. That was a very weak jump right there. Very weak. All right. Um, For all I know, we might be taking a lot of this stuff back down. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking, um, now that I'm sort of doing all of this, that, uh, it will probably be a very bad idea for us to work on uh, the attic before working on the design of the front and back facades. So we need to finalize those facades first before we even, you know, start thinking about um, making a proper attic space. I think that's going to be quite important. Because otherwise, you know, we might end up having to redo some parts of the attic as a result of, um, you know, trying to achieve what we're trying to do for the front and back walls. So, yes, we, we better do that first. Um, I'm sort of thinking about whether or not, like, I should be maybe thinking about the design a bit more seriously at this point rather than just trying to cover the wall, if that makes sense. I think maybe we can still cover it though, to be honest, um, because it's not too hard to break things back down and build them back up again. Um, and I guess my brain works a little bit better when I know um, what surface we're sort of working on, if that makes sense. I just want to build something that's kind of rough here to help us traverse the attic space, at least temporarily. have any iron whatsoever. And we've ran out of um, stone, so I think I'm gonna shift gears, see if we can gather up some wood. Kind of due for a bit of a snack as well, but sort of rushed into this, didn't I? I 
I'm just keeping an eye out for, like, wolves and stuff, because... With our HP being so low, I'm sure we could die from, like, even, say, one hit, for instance, if they get a crit off. like bulldozed everything in its path. I wonder if using your fists is um, like a viable way to play the game. If anyone knows can um, enlighten me. I mean, it seems kind of pointless because, you know, you have like all these weapons and stuff that you can craft and I don't think I've seen anything such as like gloves or anything, but I'd say, you know, it seems interesting that you're able to level up using your fists. So I wonder if anyone's gotten to a point where they've leveled it up so much that they can take out, like, even some of the tougher enemies. Because, yeah, I don't really think that this is kind of like, you know, a game like Skyrim, for instance, where you can literally, like, level, uh, level up any skill and uh, just be really, really proficient at say using your fists and pretty much take on everything using your fists. Do I have enough wood? Uh, I've got a little bit but I could probably do with a little more. Just look at the time here as well. We're probably going to call it an episode very soon. And yeah, I'm happy with uh, what we've managed to do in this one. Finally, the roof is actually done. <laughs> I think we got just so close in the previous episode. Alright, let's get back. I do want to eat a meal before we start getting into trouble. Poking out quite a bit there, isn't he? Guess he's attracted to some of the enemies out there. Good thing he can't really get out. Let's see. More bread. More... Hmm chicken. I think that should be okay. Don't need a third. We'll have a third if we do get attacked, but uh, yeah, I think this is the episode, guys. Uh, when we come back, I'd say maybe just a tiny little bit more work on trying to get some more wood, um, and then we can, you know, begin more smelting. No doubt we're going to need plenty of iron, um, but yeah, look at our home. It's coming along. I'm sort of curious to see what we could do with the 45 degree uh, Grouston roofs to perhaps make some kind of a circular design. Again, um, that is going to be a pain. <laughs> All of our circular designs have been a bit of a pain, but uh, I'm willing to give it a go just to see if it makes sense to use those pieces or not. If not, then obviously you know, the silo is probably going to stay the same um, with the current roof that we currently have. But um, otherwise, we could, you know, maybe change the silo as well. Maybe even make the silo double story. Um, that way we're sort of like, you know, expanding uh, our space to accommodate even more storage boxes. Hmm, just the thought. 
Anyway guys, I think this is it. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop me some likes down below, some comments. Otherwise, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.